Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the USGalaxyS3.com YouTube channel. I purchased an iPad Mini uh, for AT&T uh, yesterday at the Apple Store, and I was able to go to a Zag kiosk in the mall and uh, pick up some products. You can have them install it, or you can just pick up the products. Uh, they gave us like this: the retail packaging, squeegee instructions, um, application fluid, and um, microfiber or lint-free cloth here. And I did play with the device just a little bit, so I'm trying to clean it off to the best of my ability. I recommend that you guys go ahead and wash your hands, try to get as much fluid off, or, uh, oil off of them as possible. They also gave me this uh, larger uh, sprayer here. And you do need more application fluid usually with uh, the larger devices. I've only applied this on a transformer pad a long time ago. I did in a bad, bad environment. I had a lot of dog hair around. So try to clean your environment, clean your hands, uh, put application fluid on your fingertips. Usually they don't suggest um, spraying directly onto the device. I do because when we get that little surface uh, filled with uh, application fluid, we can float the screen protector, get it exactly where we want it, and then start squeegeeing it out. With a lot of the newer devices, they have this unibody construction, so they're sealed up a lot better. I'm sure the Mini uh, is sealed up pretty well. Um, since we got there, they didn't have retail packaging on any of their stuff. Uh, so we'll just grab a sheet. This is an Invisible Shield HD, which is really nice. And I'm pretty sure the front is the one with the cutout right there for the the home button. Is that called the home button? And it has a cutout up top for the front facing camera and here's the back side with its cutout for the the rear facing camera. So before I grab that I'm going to go ahead and spray my fingertips. This will also reduce the amount of oil transferred to the invisible shield and of course we want to make sure the surface is clean so we don't trap anything in between the layers. I'll go ahead and grab one of the sides. Let's do front first. I always worry about the front more because obviously that's the part that you're staring at. If you guys are watching this and it's before Cyber Monday uh, 2012, so before the 26th, uh, I'm just letting you know that Zag will be running a 50% discount on invisible shields and other products so that's usually the best time to uh, take advantage of it all made a mistake here didn't grab my squeegee pretty much what you want to do is get everything ready prior to applying it because it gets a little difficult when you're working with everything at once now like I said if you put enough liquid on this you can kind of float it I'm starting to do vinyl insulation at work, so it kind of helps me out, um, gives me ideas for applying screen protectors a lot better. But with the, the larger screens, I mean, it's, it's kind of difficult to do everything correctly, to line it up perfectly. You can see there's a little speck right there. Since I have uh, all this application fluid down, I can pull it back up and try to fish that back out. Now the problem with fishing uh, little pieces of dust back out is that there is adhesive on the back of this. I mean it's not just clinging to it like um like maybe some tint does so if you do decide to try and fish something back out you could ruin the clarity now we do have a white device and this is on the edge where you would kind of see it might be annoying to some people might not uh, better than it being on the display panel but I'm going to go ahead and feel my fingers drying out. 
you gotta align it somewhere. It looks like the hardest thing to align here, of course, would be the home button and the front facing camera. Go ahead and put pressure on it, get it in the right location, make sure it's squared up, top, bottom, side to side. I also feel that when you apply a generous amount of application fluid to it, some stuff, uh, dust, will just come out with the fluid. And you allow ample space for the air bubbles to float out when you squeegee it. So there's the front side, the side that matters most. Make sure it doesn't hang off the edge, of course, that could get clipped through daily use. It'll cause the screen protector to form bubbles on the edges. So we'll go ahead and move to the back side now. Of course, we picked this one up at a store, so we did not get the custom engraving. Of course, I'll try to keep the liquid away from any open ports, like the lightning port, also known as the charging port. Go ahead and respray my fingers. Grab the rear invisible shield ahead and spray it down. Only thing we have to go by here is the rear facing camera. It has a cutout. Other than that, we'll just try to center it up on everything else. Because I have that generous amount of fluid, it's just kind of floating on the surface. I'm going to squeegee it all away from the open ports. And then as it dries, I'll try to make sure it adheres to the little curve, try to even that out. Another thing for the back side, I went ahead and used a hair dryer to help get the edges down. Of course, you don't want to apply the heat too much in one place. Uh, the It'll just start to stretch in different places, and I just pushed down the edges. I didn't pull from the center, and that seemed to get it to stick better all around the edge. Alright, before I do wrap this video up, I want to say that with the iPad Mini, your best bet might even be to line up the long edge and then go this way, just square it all up. Uh, if you do get something underneath the screen, uh, your best bet to remove that is a very a uh, sharp object uh, like this knife and try to slide it uh, sideways and just get that particle off versus uh, digging into the adhesive on the back side. Just reapply, use uh, the application on your fingers, the screen, and the cover and just squeegee it all back out. But there you have it, that's the installation of a Zag Invisible Shield on a new iPad uh, Mini. So for more information about cellular devices and more, please visit my page at cricketusers.com, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricketusers, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channels. It allows me to purchase more devices and accessories to do videos on. Thanks a lot.